What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We have the patio and the fire pit all done. Now we're on to the deck. We're starting to lay some of this decorator's decking. We got a really cool design once again. Who would have guessed it? So make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. So you can see we've got these decorators coaster boards going in on a 45 degree angle. This deck is 25-ish feet long, so we can't just have one straight run. So we split it into three separate areas here. So we have these coming in on a 45 like this. This side's gonna be coming in on a 45 like this. Our six foot center inlay here is gonna be all straight. But every sixth board from here is gonna cut through this inlay and meet up in the center. Check out the rendering. So we're gonna have to add some blocking in here, but we wanna get some of these down first so that we can figure out exactly where that blocking needs to go. It's gonna be pretty sweet. It's gonna be a subtle design, but I think it's really gonna look dynamite. First step, get these billboards down. blocking put in here and we had a couple boards left over from our last project but we're waiting on the decking delivery which should be here today so normally I'd probably wait on this blocking to make it a little bit easier but it's easy enough to figure out so what we're basically doing is every sixth board that runs on a 45 is going to cut through this center section which is all going to be straight so all we did was measure those six boards pull off of here make two lines and right here can you see that and we're also doing the blocking a little bit differently. A lot of times when it cuts through like this, we'll notch out our joists, but this is spanning a full 16 feet and we're only using two by 10. So instead of upgrading everything to two by 12 so that we could notch it, we decided to just put these cleats on the side and then our blocking is gonna sit in between. So it's solidly sitting on top of something and we're not compromising the integrity of the joist. You'll see it come together as we start laying the decking, but it's gonna be a really nice little detail. And uh, hopefully by the time we finish this, decking will be here and we can start throwing in all of our field boards. boards down on this side we're just about done and you can see now how every sixth board runs straight through into our middle section and it just got this first piece cut this is where it's going to branch off to this side so you can see how they're going to intersect in the middle but all of these inside are going to be all straight and we're going to have a double border of kaya three and a half which is going to separate this middle part. It's pretty awesome though. Now that we have this side, we can really see it coming together. And I think this design is just going to be a nice subtle detail, but uh, it's going to look really sweet. Bring the board this way. Keep going. A little behind the scenes of uh, how this action is getting going. Good. You can see the installation of this one right here is going to be very important because we need to be mimicking this side, the so exact layout, so that come. every sixth board on this side meets in with every six board on this um, side. So we gotta make sure go. this is nice and straight. Tack a screw in the middle. Now go all the way to the end. Put it like on your mark. Yeah, that's good.
We got all the field boards installed now and we're gonna start cutting in this inlay. We have to cut both sides of the field board so that we can install all of these straight pieces in the middle, but we have some confusing stuff with which ones are cutting through. So we're gonna start up here. These are gonna cut straight through. So they're gonna go through the inlay. You'll see this board continue straight to that point. This one, we're gonna cut here. We're gonna have the border go over top of this. So this is gonna look like it goes underneath of it. And then we're gonna switch back. Whoa. Then we're gonna switch back and this is gonna look like it goes over top of it. So this board will just continue straight through right to the point. I think it's just gonna be a nice little subtle detail and it's gonna look really cool. So Ant's gonna start track sawing it up, locking it in for justice, cutting it out for justice. Everything's so overexposed. Are you set? I am set. There we go. That looks a little cooler. You know what doesn't look cooler? You. I'm just kidding. You look really cool. I need this negative criticism. It's the only way I'm going to improve. Yeah. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. So we got this line snapped and this is basically just a reference point for where these boards are going to intersect. This one's pretty easy because it's gonna stop right at the edge of this border, but it's every sixth board that's gonna run through here and meet in the center. So six more boards right here. We already cut this one to fit in here because this first one is gonna go through the border and it's gonna look like this goes on top of the double kaya. This one is gonna look like it goes underneath, so the border will continue through here. So we just have that reference point, so we can set the track up, and the track's gonna go right here, and we know to stop right at this line because that's where the other one's gonna come in and meet. Don't wanna overcut it, so. Now we can get the tracks on. We got quite a few cuts here, but once we start putting them in, I'm pretty excited to see this thing come together. What do you think? It's gonna, it's gonna be dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. chicken uh, it's really just this side this corner is a little tight what do I do with my job? you filming Yep. Of course we're filming. I'm always filming. Are you getting this? Yeah. Make sure you get this. This is going to be some good stuff. Oh, it's the good stuff. Oh, it's the good stuff. All right, so uh, we like our field boards to fit really nice and tight against our borders. Again, I know it's kind of cold out today. It's actually warming up to be quite a beautiful day, but this is Decorator's Voyage. <laughs> mineral-based composite expansion and contraction nearly non-existent on it so it's not like a pvc or a wood plastic composite where you're going to want to gap it with these temperatures about an eighth to a, a three sixteenths on a day like today but with this we're confident especially with all of these short pieces there's not going to be much expansion and contraction we can get it in there really nice and tight and uh you know just looks a lot better looks a lot better
now have all of our inlay boards in and now you can really see how we have this overlapping pattern. This one is going on top of the border. This one looks like it cuts underneath and then this one goes on top again. Just a nice subtle detail. I played around with some different colors on this design but I thought it was best to just do all of these in the Costa so it doesn't like stick out, you know, really boldly. It just, nice little subtle detail. I think it looks freaking awesome. Next step here is working on this pergola. We have a huge pergola going over the whole thing with a cover on top to make it a waterproof space underneath. We have some built out columns. We're also doing this outdoor kitchen, which we haven't really touched on yet, but you're gonna have to wait for the next vlog for all of that action. It's gonna be really sweet, so make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.